Hi, I'm Dr. Jessica Kaplanov representing LGC BioSearch and I'm here today to talk about emerging trends and technologies in single cell analysis. So the issue of single cell analysis really comes down to heterogeneity. We as scientists have always known that tissues and even cell cultures have heterogeneity both in the protein expression, the DNA and the RNA between various regions of tissues and also between different cells in a cell culture or even amongst the same cells there can be clusters. This is a problem for the more traditional methods of expression profiling as they usually involve destruction of the entire tissue or group of cells and an averaging of that information from millions of cells. Though this might give a good indication where we should start with our analysis, we've always known deep down that that doesn't really get at the crux of the problem. We need to look at the differences between the expression profiles of the individual cells in that tissue in order to be able to see which RNAs or proteins are being expressed in a healthy tissue versus a disease state. So if I had to choose just one technology that best describes the advances in single cell analysis in the past year or so, I would have to go with single cell RNA-seq. This technique gives us the transcriptomes of individual cells and we can compare these cell transcriptomes between a disease state and a normal tissue state. The downside of this technique though is that though it might give us the sequences of all the RNAs in the cell, it doesn't actually give us the relative expression profiles of those RNAs. So it doesn't tell us which of those RNAs are highly expressed versus more low expression. And that's some place that we can go in the future. So when it comes to trends, the most cutting edge development has been the combination of two or more of these single cell analysis tools such as combining genome information with the transcriptome or the transcriptome with the methylenome or looking together at RNA and protein expression. Though LGC has a tremendous variety in the number of products and services to support cell analysis, if I had to choose one that really is on the most cutting edge of single cell analysis, I would have to choose Stellaris RNA Fish. Stellaris RNA Fish is unique among RNA Fish products for several reasons. First of all, Stellaris RNA Fish is the only RNA Fish product to use direct in situ hybridization. A multitude of unique probes bind directly to the RNA transcript and don't involve an amplification step. The lack of the amplification step means that when you see one spot, that means one transcript. This allows Stellaris to be the only RNA Fish product that is both qualifiable and also quantifiable, allowing you to directly count how many RNA transcripts are present in your organism, your tissue, and down to your cell. Another primary advantage of Stellaris RNA Fish is its capacity for high order multiplexing. With Stellaris, you're able to visualize up to five RNAs at the same time, and also it combines flawlessly with protein immunofluorescence. The protocols are almost the same, so if you're able to do protein immunofluorescence in the lab, you can do Stellaris. And this way, you can combine both the RNA information and the protein information together into one assay. I'd like to thank the scientists for inviting me today to talk about recent trends and technologies in single cell analysis, and wish everyone here at Neuroscience and back at home the best of luck in continuing to advance our understanding and bring us closer to cures. For more information about Stellaris RNA Fish and our other products and services, please visit our LGC BioSearch website.